Hi everyone, in the previous video, I have already explained you how you have to go for sentiment analysis of Amazon data. And in this video, what we are doing, we have to do sentiment analysis of Twitter data. So before this, I would like to tell you how you have to download API keys because that's required in our, this, uh, our studio analysis of Twitter data. So let me explain you first, uh, Twitter data uh, sentiment analysis, right? Here is how to create API. API stands for Application Program Interface Key. So first of all, what we have to do, log into Twitter developer account. What you are typing on the Google search, developer.twitter.com. So when you have to type this developer.twitter.com, after that, there would be an option of sign in. Then you will sign in here, sign in in this account, right? And if you have not created your Twitter account, so first create your Twitter account, then after that, you are going to sign in in developer.twitter.com. Then you will log in with Twitter account, after that, what you have to do, you will developer.twitter.com slash app. You have to go there on this particular URL. After that, select exploring the API, right? What API, I mean, you are selecting, you are, for which purpose you, uh, you want this app, right? They would ask. So here is select exploring the API. If phone number is not added in your Twitter account, then add phone number, that would be mandatory requirement. Then after that, confirm, because after that, they are going to send you a mail to confirm your email ID. So go back to your email ID and from that place, confirm your email. Then after that, write app name, whatever app name you want to give. Right, that should not be pre-exist and uh, interface would help you. This app is already existing. So try to another name, right? So until or unless that is not uh, already existing, you have to give that name, then finally you will get API. So let me explain you first of all, then after this, what you have to do, copy and save API key, right? Copy and save API key, these, all these kinds of key would be generated and you need all these keys, API key, API key secret, bearer token, bearer token that not required in our studio. I mean, API key, API key secret, access token and access token secret, but bearer token also, you have to, copy and paste on a Word document, all these keys, right? Otherwise, after this, they will not show you uh, and only the only, only, only restricted words would be reflected on your screen. So you have to first generate before going for Twitter sentiment analysis on our studio, you are going to generate all these kinds of keys. So let me explain you here is what you are going to write. I had already created my dashboard. You can see here, this is my dashboard. And I had already signed in, right? I had already signed in and I had already created projects. And my project name is sentiment because I'm doing sentiment analysis. And under this, I had already created one project app that is ANA underscore senti because that is not pre-exist. Uh, on this particular app. So here is, I had created Anna underscore, Anna in, stands for analysis underscore sentiment. So analysis of sentiment uh, analysis I'm doing. And here is, uh, you are, because it is not reflecting create app because I had already created. And same thing here, there is, you can find here products, right? So Twitter API V2 then you have to click here that would reflect here and essentials I had already done right all the essential features and search tweets right here is that document you have to read this document how you have to go for this right recent search full archive search each and everything would be reflected here 
and uh, here is and after that uh, after that you are going to suppose wherever academic research access only because i had written academic research access only so i have created this particular account right and uh, after this they will approve an api would be generated and these api you have to save on a word document so i'm sure do this that video would be helpful to you do this after that in the next video we are going to run we are going to run the sentiment analysis of twitter data whatever data file you are going to either in the form of the csv or you would have twitter data with you so that kind of analysis how many times people had written right i had used this particular data from twitter and i have done this analysis president data new president is elected and uh, the uh, already uh, she already already this data because that is the twitter account i had collected this uh, all these tweets then after that i have done this i had created this word cloud so i'm sure in the next video i'm going to conduct this how we have to uh, run this uh, uh, entire data thank you keep watching